Turning now to Afghanistan, where the Taliban-controlled government is asking for international help after yesterday's catastrophic earthquake that killed at least 1,000 people, the deadliest quake to strike that country in two decades. Charlie Daggett reports now on the disaster, the rescue effort, and the death toll, which is unfortunately likely to rise. An orderly line of men prepare a row of graves for the victims of the earthquake. A stark contrast compared to one day earlier when rescuers were forced to dig with their bare hands in a desperate search for survivors. A lack of roads to the remote area meant shuttling the injured away by helicopter. At least 1,500 people have been injured, many left fighting for their lives. There was a rumbling and the bed began to shake, Shabir says. I'm sure seven or nine people from my family who were in the same room as me are dead. The earthquake struck one of the poorest regions of one of the poorest countries on the planet. Decades of conflict, government corruption and now crippling sanctions have brought Afghanistan to its knees and left the Taliban begging the international community for help. Many aid groups fled the country after last year's Taliban takeover. It's in a country that's already on the brink. We know that. It's a uh, it, food security situation is where we're talking about we're close to a famine-like situation. People are really already hanging on by, by a threat. As the death toll climbs, even for thousands of survivors now made homeless and facing widespread hunger, the suffering has only begun. For CBS Mornings, Charlie Daggett, London.